Oh, number. Uh, <coughs> 15. Oh, uh, well, that's the night then, 8 o'clock. Yeah, uh, th thank you very much. Y yeah, yes, thank you. Yeah. Goodbye. You got me butties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I saw them uh, on the table upstairs. Oh, right. What's happening at 8 o'clock tonight? Oh, nothing particular. Uh, why? I just thought I heard you say eight o'clock, that's all. As long as you weren't fixing up for us to go out for a meal or anything, because I've got my rehearsal tonight. Oh, no, 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 I knew that. <laughs> yeah, uh, no. Um, the, the, the Weatherfield Historical Society, that they, they meet on a Wednesday at, at eight o'clock. Only I, I don't think I'll bother going. No, not tonight. It's a talk I've heard before. Piano play didn't turn up, and then director threw a wobbler and chucked his score at stage manager, so we all ended up in pub instead. I wanted to be back half an hour. There's no milk upstairs. How was the talk? That's where you've been, isn't it? No, 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 no. I, I've, I've just been for a walk. I uh, fancied a bit of fresh air. I've been stuck in all day. Oh. Well, shall I make you some cocoa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that'd be nice. Okay. Oh. There you are. What are you doing? I'm, I'm just checking up to see how much of this stuff needs renewing. Mm. That's a lot of it, I shouldn't wonder. Yeah, it's going to be an expensive move, you know. Mm. It's not just the cafe, it's the flat as well. No, I've told you, you get the cafe how you want it. We can sort out flat later. As long as we're warm and dry, that's all that matters. Right. You're not worried about it, are you? The cafe? A bit apprehensive. It'll be a great success. Do you know, I feel like we've turned the corner in so many ways, both of us. Well, you're happier at work. I am. Social secretary. Who'd have thought it? Yeah, and there's your operatics. It keeps me off the streets. <laughs> I'm, very, I'm very pleased for you. Trouble is, I'm hardly ever at all, Mama. I'll tell you what, why don't you come out with us tonight? We're just looking at venues for disco. It should only take an hour or so, and then we could go for a drink somewhere. I, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, thanks for the offer, but I'm going to be on with this lot till late. Never mind. Just an idea. Dipper. Ready? Hang on. We're going to get another. Oh, right. Not for me, thanks. Well, I've made a few phone calls and there's a couple of places for us to see. Three, actually. There's a the Clarence Street Club, the Boilermaker's Arms and the Flying Horse. Yeah. Right. Linda. Uh, lager, please. Uh, Lorraine, love, can I have a lager and a bitter? OK. Anyway, the Boilermaker's charge £20, but it's a dead big room. A uh, flying horse seems a bit small, but they don't charge. They might charge 10p a pint extra, though. And Clarence Street Club. Mm. Can't remember what they said. So, shall we see all three, then? You what? Oh, Tarajan. Oh, you're welcome, love. Um, well, it's up to you. I, I mean, do you need us to go? We trust you. Do you? Well, I don't mind. So long as there's a dance floor. And a bar. And plenty of fellas. <laughs> Don't know what I can do out about that. <laughs> my luck, I'll draw a blank. Well, my Les is DJing, so I'll be on me Todd. You're right coming, is he? All right for her. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I'm late. I, I was delayed. all over. I was getting worried. Where have you been? I, I, I've been, been for a walk. Oh. It's just... I thought you were stopping in tonight. Yeah, I, I was, but I felt like a breath of air. Oh. So, so, I went, I went for a walk. I see. Do you not believe me? If you say that's what you were doing, then of course I believe you. Just wondered why it were necessary to change into your best clothes. No, I, I, I can manage tonight. As, as, as long as, as it's early. Well, I, I'll only be able to have an hour with you. <laughs> Better than nothing. Oh, come on. We're time for another quicken. Uh, Natalie, can I have two hours, love? Yeah, coming up. Time. 
Oh, yeah. Do you fancy a drink? It's pineapple juice, isn't it? Oh, whatever you're having. What's up? It's Roy. I think you might be right. I just heard him on the phone now and I'm sure he was talking to another woman. See, I told you. Arranging to meet her tonight while I'm out at Flying Horse. Well, didn't you tackle him? No, cos I was too upset and, and anyway, I might be wrong. Are you Eckers like? I tell you what you want to do. When he goes out tonight, follow him. I can't do that. Yeah, you can. At least you'd know then, one way or the other. Yeah, and you'll know who it is. For all you know, really, this other woman could be a friend of yours. Oh, oh, hello. Everything all right, Roy? Yeah, it's fine. I'm just, uh, just uh, cleaning up. I'm not stopping. Janice and Linda coming with me helps sort out what we need for disco. Oh, good. You could come with us, Roy. No, no, I, I think I'll have a quiet evening in. I might catch the early evening news. <laughs> no, I'll, um, I'll be seeing you then. Uh, don't forget to pull the door to, Hayley. See you later. Bye. Guilty as hell. Written all over him. I don't know you can say that. Because I've seen it before, on fellas of my own. Come on, there's only one thing for it. Let's go. We'll wait for him up top of the street, then when he comes out, we'll follow him. I could just ask him. They lie, love. Do you know, considering all you've been through, you don't know much about men, do you? Come on, Ailey. <sighs> Any idea where he's heading? No. Look, Janice, I'm not happy about this. He just doesn't seem right. It's what he's doing that's not right. Hey, up. We're gonna lose him. Good job he didn't get a bus. I wish he had. Then we'd have to give up. Come on, Ellie. <laughs> you managed to get away then? Yes, yeah, but I've only got an hour. Don't worry, we'll make the best of it. Come in. Come in. Mm. I'm sorry. The swine. What do you want to do? Cos we can go in there and drag him no, out and make him... No. I just want to go home. matter is there anything you want to tell me anything at all I, I, I don't think so because you can Roy whatever it is you can always tell me well there isn't anything oh I, except uh, no I've told you that haven't I about the new floor covering in the cafe I'm not talking about floor covering is there anything you want to tell me about us Morning, Gail. I'm just off. Oh. Bye. B bye. Mm. Everything all right? Uh, it's the tenth today, isn't it? Something like that, yeah. No, no, just Haley seems a bit put out. I'm wondering if I've missed an anniversary. But, um, I can't think what of. Have you had it out with him? <sighs> Who is she? I've no idea. He hasn't said anything yet. Oh, you've nasty him. Well, no, I thought I'd give him a chance to tell me without me having to. Oh, Ailey. We're going to go to Rovers, then? Nearest, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think I'll bother today. I'll, I'll see you later. Hey, you're going to tackle right? I thought I'd give him another chance to explain, yeah. Well, make sure he does this time. Just tell him what you saw. Then he'll have no choice, will he? He'll have to tell you. What? You actually saw him with this other woman, yeah? We only saw her open door. Yeah. Like it's a regular thing. Like he's round there every night. I don't know how you've kept quiet. I'd have killed him by now. Me and all. Yeah, well, I'm not going to keep quiet. Not any longer. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong, is there? Who was that woman you went to see last night? And don't tell me there wasn't one, because I know there was. Uh, no, no. But... Roy! I th somebody saw you going into her house. So who was she? Yes, but she wasn't just the woman. Who? Well, she was... And, and, and 
you'll tell me that I shouldn't have, but, but, but this kind of thing it just terrifies me. For crying out loud, are you going to tell me you're not? I've been having... I've been having lessons. Dancing lessons. For Sunday. Disco dancing. I'm embarrassed to have to tell you. I was determined you was never to know. Dancing lessons? Really? Yes. I'm still no good. And do you know what I've been thinking? What? It doesn't matter. He admitted he went and that he'd been before. And you want to know why? I'd have thought that were obvious. With dancing lessons. This woman, all she's been doing is giving him dancing lessons. Oh, what a relief for you. It were a bit. Dancing lessons? Mm. What, in her house? And you believe him? Of course I believe him. Well, good for you. What, you think he's lying? I think anyone were lying who told me they were having dancing lessons in some woman's house. It's not a very original excuse, love. But we are having a dance, aren't we? You can't deny that. No, no. no. We're not, not doing. doing. Well, Roy don't normally go to dances. So he's nervous. So he's having lessons. Else she could say that it's because there's a dance coming up that's giving him the excuse. Yeah. I mean, if we were going ten pin balling, he'd be having lessons for that. In her front room. Or should I say bedroom? No. No. Roy wouldn't lie to me. Oh, they all lie. It's in the genes. When that woman came to the door, did she look like a dance teacher to you? How are we dance teachers supposed to look? Not like that. See you tomorrow then. Bye, Gail. Bye. Bye. So, Lou, uh, got any lessons tonight then? Lessons? Oh, no, not tonight. Tomorrow? Uh, yes. You got 10p? Uh, 10, yes. I, uh, just thought you might like to show me what she's taught you. You know, give me a preview, like. I mean, after all, if I'm going to be dancing with you, I'm going to have to know the moves, aren't I? Uh, I, I, I don't think I can. Well, not in here. Come on. No, 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 really. So, what's the point in having lessons, then, if you still can't dance? Well, I, I've still got a couple of lessons to go. Is that really what you've been doing? Having dancing lessons? Yes, well, you don't think I'd say something like that if it wasn't true. Then show me. I can't, not in here. You have to be in her house. I suppose I do, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, a lager and a pineapple juice, please. Right. I hope you don't mind me ringing you. I just didn't know who else to talk to. No, love. You ring me any time. Besides, I'm glad I excused to get out. I asked him how did he get onto this woman. He said through an advert in paper. I said, oh, can I see it? No, he's thrown it away. I even asked him to dance, show me what he's learned, but he wouldn't do that. Well, it's not sounding right good, is it? A week ago, I would have said that Roy Cropper was the most honest man there was. But now I feel as though I'm never going to be able to believe another word he says. And is he going to be seeing this woman again? He says he's got two more lessons. Right. Well, there's only one way to sort it. You've got to follow him like we did before. Only this time, instead of stopping outside, you've got to get in there and see for yourself what's going on. You all right? Just about, yeah. Right gone to his class, has he? Not yet, no. Hello, Janice. Hayley. Well, uh, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> what are you doing? I've been waiting for you to come home. Yeah, well, I fancied a drink, didn't I? Is that gin? Yeah. I'll get you a pineapple juice. I don't want a pineapple juice, Roy. You can get me another gin if you want. But you don't drink gin. I do now. You sure you're all right? Fine. Only I have to say, I am a little reluctant to go to my class and leave you like this. No, you go to your class. Just get me another gin before you go, that's all. Right. Uh, if you're sure. I'm sure. Right. Go on, then. Can I have a very small job, please? 
Oh, you going to the Valentine disco? What, with Les's DJ? That doesn't look very likely now, does it? Well, maybe I'll think about it. Go on, commit yourself. Could be a bit of a laugh. Yeah, OK. Great. One G&T. 160, please. There we are, then. Thanks. You sure you'll be all right? Yeah, of course I will. I've got Janice to talk to. Yeah, well, uh, <clears throat> I'll best get off, then. I don't want to keep Beryl waiting. No. Well, don't let me keep you. Right, well, bye, then. I'll, I'll see you later. <coughs> bye, Janice. Bye. So? So? Hey. Gone again, has he? Looks like it, doesn't it? Is that why you're smoking and drinking? Might be. There's no future in that. I know. You just wake up with your bad head tomorrow morning. I don't think so. Eh? I don't intend to sit here biting my lip all night, Janice. I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to follow your advice. Only this time, I'm not going to be standing outside watching. I'm going to be knocking on her door and asking questions. Just did that. I'm sorry. I told you what was going on. I even offered to let you come round and see for yourself. But oh no. You prefer to listen to those stupid women in the factory tittle tattling and come sneaking up, checking on me like, like some peeping Tom. I know. Can you imagine how embarrassed I was when I saw you there? What am I supposed to say to Beryl? I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I was just, I was just so scared of losing you. I, I told you, Haley. I told you the truth, and you didn't believe me. Now, if you don't trust me, there is nothing I can do about that. But I'll tell you one thing. This is no basis for a long-term relationship. Roy. Roy. I'm just scared of losing you. 